Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Today we're going to talk about uh, I'm winterizing a whole hive from start to finish. This hive here is in a double but I don't think it ever grew into that top box so we're going to push them down. There may not be hardly any bees in at all. I don't know. I haven't been in it for a long time. But we're going to get them down to a single box and I'm, I told you this year I'm going to use the styrofoam. Uh, we're going to change the bottom box into a styrofoam box. Get them all the way up. Show you how I put sugar or shim on them and sugar. And get them, be, this hive will be done for winter. The reason I'm doing this now, it's a little early here. I usually don't put sugar on the top of them until uh, middle of November. But I realize some places it's getting cold already, or colder, staying cold. So it'll give you them people a chance to get their hives done off of this video. But cause if you put sugar on when the bees are flying like today, it's 65 degrees. It's October 27th. Uh, when they're flying like this today and you just put fresh sugar on it, they'll start packing it out. But it's supposed to turn cool. This is Sunday. It's supposed to turn cool Tuesday. We'd be down in the 30s and some nights in the 20s. It only takes about three days for the moisture in that hive to lock that sugar up tight where they won't haul it out. But still not going to do all of them. Just going to do this one just to, for demonstration purposes only. We'll get in here and I've changed all the boxes around into styrofoam boxes today and tearing them all the way down this late in the season. They're not really happy campers, so I would advise you smoke and suit up. But we'll get in here and see what we got. I would have done it earlier in the season, but I've had so much trouble with uh, scout bees wanting to look for a place to rob. As soon as you pop a lid, you've got scout bees everywhere, and it's kind of backed off lately. We've already been down in the 20s for lows at night. I don't think this top box has got anything in it except some, maybe some honey that I'd put up there. Just a few bees. Like I say, they'll probably boil out of here like crazy. Looks like they're covering about three frames of bees. So what we want to do, we want to get in here if we got any of these frames up here that's full of honey, we want to get them in the bottom box. I don't know if they are or not. Mm, that's just a draw frame. May have had honey and they pulled it down to the bottom box. But if you got frames in this bottom box that ain't drawed out, and exchange uh, drawed frames for empty frames and put them on the outside of your box. Off here. This is the star phone box we've been building. I got it all of them done. shot of smoke and get them transferred over into this box. And that's a frame that's all full of open nectar they haven't capped that yet. Next, some capped honey at the top. All full nectar. Actually, on these single boxes, I didn't go any through any doubles today, the strong ones. I only found two highs in the doubles that had any brood to mount anything on, so I, I'm assuming that this hive won't have much brood either. Got a little bit of brood there, capped. Actually, she got that laid full. 
This queen's not stopped laying yet. Got some cat brood on that side. Them, them girls are protecting that queen. I seen her. I, they had her covered up. Not a real strong hive. But we're looking at probably close to three frames of bees. That's a pollen frame. Open honey. <coughs> Open nectar on that. So we've got them changed to the new box. Let me get a sugar shim here. Set this box right on the sugar shim. Okay. Now just to put sugar on top of them, I just tear, make it a little short on the ends. They'll chew holes in it. Each end's got about three quarters of an inch, half to three quarters of ventilation. Now we just put a sugar shim on it. Since there's so much rubbing going on, I'm gonna put the, uh, first I'm gonna shake all the rest of these bees here out on the ground. They'll get up there. Check it out and run in front of the wrong hive. Ah, they'll find their way home. There, that'll be temporary. Now I'm gonna go up here and show you what I, how I mix the feed. Typically when I'm feeding them all, I mix it in a wheelbarrow. I'm just doing one hive. Got about a half a cup of dry pollen substitute in there. Then I take a four pound bag of sugar. The bow's almost too small. Just mix that pollen up in that sugar. I don't put any, in the winter time, I don't put any vinegar mix with it or anything, or water with it. Just put dry, dry, dry ingredients, dry pollen and dry sugar. say we just got it mixed up don't spend a lot of time with it let me get you back over here and show you what we do to the what we do about putting it on We've already got our newspaper and our that's about a, about a two inch shim. You can make them smaller like that. And I just basically pour it all in the middle. And then I'll move it out, make it even across.
Now, on warm days, in the wintertime, you can come in here and look. If they've got plenty of sugar, don't put none on it. If they've got a big hole ate out in it, just cut you a small piece of newspaper to cover the hole and fill it back up. No reason for a hive to store, starve to death in the winter. You can put enough sugar. If they go eating it, you mark the ones that's eating it really hard and keep an eye on them. The sugar, you know, it's an emergency feed. And it also, like in the other video I showed you, it absorbs moisture, helps on the condensation of the moisture. Like I say, the only thing that I haven't done for this hive for winter right now is to put a mouth guard on it. And I'll come down in the front of it here when it gets a little, when they quit flying and uh, staple a mouse guard across the front entrance. The mouse guard I use is just a half inch hardware cloth and just staple across the front of the entrance. Good enough. Just a quick video. I hope it helps somebody to uh, save their hive for winter. Like I say, that hive's, that hive's ready to go. Don't have to do anything more to it. Just check it a few times in the winter. Make sure they still got food. And they're good to go. If you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it to get notified. And leave comments. It helps the channel if you comment helps the channel if you subscribe uh, you just get it out to more people that way share these videos with your friends and there's a lot of ways to do bees the way I do them is not the only way but it works for me and hopefully it'll work for you you have a great day